hook I am using is a Gamagatsu B10S in size 2, and the thread is Vivas Power Thread 140 in brown. Make a small thread base with a few wraps, about a third of the way down the hook shank. For the dumbbells, make sure you use the large lead dumbbells for the extra weight. I really like these painted ones to give the look of an eye. Attach the eye using X wraps and under wraps. You can use super glue to keep the eye from spinning, but I like this UV resin as it will set instantly with a UV light and allow you to get back to tying right away. Bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Then create a dubbing loop and bring your thread back to the dumbbell eyes. Now attach a dubbing twister and set it aside. I like this monster dubbing, and I'm going to use yellow here. Pull apart in your fingers many times to align the fibers. Then cut the fiber in half and try to evenly spread it out. Then place that dubbing in your dubbing loop and spin it up. You will want to pick out the dubbing quite a bit with your bogkin. And use Velcro or a stiff toothbrush to smooth out the dubbing hackle. With touching wraps, wrap the dubbing up the hook shank, pulling the fibers rearward with every wrap. Once you reach the dumbbell eyes, capture it with your thread and trim off the waist. Pick out the dubbing now with your bodkin, and stroke the fibers down and rearward. Sometimes your fibers might be a bit long, so just pinch them off with your fingers. Now measure out a magnum rabbit strip in the chinchilla color so the hide extends about as long as the dubbing does. Cut the rabbit strip at the measurement, and then measure where the hide will sit on the hook shank. Now pierce the hide with your hook at that spot. And take the hook off the vise and push the hide all the way through. Then put the hook back in the vise. Pull the hide forward somewhat tightly and tie it in with a few tight wraps. Then snip off the waist tight and clean up the head section. Now pull apart some dark brown monster dubbing with your fingers in the same way as the yellow and tie it in right in the center of the clump at the head of the fly. Try to only make two to three wraps. Then do the same thing with the white monster dubbing and tie it in with only two to three wraps as well. Pull the forward facing fibers rearward and tie a thread dam in front of them. If you have any fibers sticking out, then trim them off. Now you can whip finish your fly. Pinch off the white dubbing to the same length as the yellow. And now cement the head. Brush all the fibers rearward with a toothbrush or Velcro. Baby brown trout have small spots on them, so take a brown marker and make those dots. and your fly is finished. As you can see, this fly swims hook point up, so it makes it very snag resistant. It also has some wonderful jigging action under the water. Even bouncing off the bottom, the rabbit fur just flows really nicely. And the large dubbed head pushes a lot of water. This fly is heavily weighted, so it will sink quickly to deep fish.
Well, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check the description section for a list of materials I used on this fly. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.